been showing the game. My bad, guys. <laughs> Give me a second. I'll fix the names. I completely forgot. Uh, so on the left side, we do have team. Wait, we have. Uh, I believe it was TPJR. So once again, we're gonna see a very good defensive round with the retakes. But even only having two on site, they're able to reclaim that site quickly and get the bomb plant, uh, defuse the bomb right away. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see a slow push from the attacking side, just a high nade raiding down, doing some, a little bit of damage. So we're going to see a very quiet start right now on round two. Lots of utils being burnt. Yep, we're going to be seeing a slow A short push with one omen in showers. The wall is going to go down very very soon. Shadows iPod says ready to push out. He did see the sage through the smoke. Landing some bullets going to bring Sage about half HP. Going to force her shield out and going to force her to heal. Jimmy Shadows Cell's going to find Gorilla once again. The wall is down, and Team Fuego looking to push in, but they are going to get stopped. iPod Titan and Deep going to go down, Grandma going to find Cold, uh, Cold Cabbage, and the Phoenix Molly going to stop them temporarily. Phoenix still does have one more flash if he chooses to use it, but these shots not landing. Says just chilling on her wall by the crates. And the flash yeah. is out. Jimmy Sal's gonna find Ray's DM and Redemness gonna find Grandma. Two so nothing they can o. really nothing they can really do there. Even though the defensive tide actually decided to save their pistols, just using the, the simple ghost with light armor. They're able to pick off that round. Now look at their econ. They should be good for this round and the next round, even though that they even if they lose. While on the on the attacking side right now, their That's their buys is uh, it's not the greatest, but they're going to have four ARs and one Spectre. Yep, but at least now both teams do have full buys, so we're going to be seeing a lot more frags coming probably likely faster. Some more dings coming out. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be seeing the mid push through who got to be. Ray's also down long. Mm -hmm. Little does Gorilla know, no one is there. But the smoke going to come out to Garden from Omen. Phoenix is going to be rotating over. So I'm gonna see this once. There's a slow push happening at Puka right oh, now. Oh, and iPod Tick gonna find Jimmy Salt on the rotate. Grandma gonna find Aaron Randomless on site. And for some reason, Phoenix is rotating back to A. Yeah. They have full, he just gave up B completely. They have full control of B now. Lab is gonna get walled off. And now Sage try to contest. This, I, uh, this Omen, but iPod Tink is going to get the best of him. Gorilla going to find TB4 on the flank as well. And that is Flawless. it. Flawless round from Fuego. Trying to bring it back. Ronaldo so the defensive Pog. team was very confused that round on which site that they were going on. Since iPod Tink had two picks or three picks on A. Making them rotate over back to A for a free quick bomb plant on B. So, they're gonna go for another save round, buying light armor pistol, while the attacking side gang ready to set up a split once again, working together in pairs. Yep, so we're gonna be seeing slow push down both sides. Hookah push, and Deep does have the spike, so it looks like they're gonna be going for the B plant. So we're gonna see that once again. Look, the Phoenix is already rotating to A site where there's no one there. While the attacking side getting ready to push out Huka. This is where the team comms are, are supposed to come in to rotate since since they've spotted many people from CT. And TB4 gonna find Gorilla. We are post plants. The wall does go down. R and Ramdness though, going to find Diep with that wall bang. Grandma gonna find TB4. 
And now iPod tint, just watching this guardian grandma watching elbow. He is gonna see someone slowly rotating over though. And iPod tint gonna find Jimmy Salts. Grandma gonna uh, gonna get taken out by Iron Randomness. And Cold Cabbage to find and raise the M. iPod tint now, the last one standing on one v one. He is gonna get the flash, and he's gonna get the wall there. Cold Cabbage gonna get the kill. Well, he survived through a TP, just barely. So that was a very, very smart play that round. Once again, the defensive side over-rotating, playing three on A, while the, the last two on B are stuck there, not being able to retake, holding that site down, leading for a rotation and a retake from A. Yep, and they are going to be catching out. That was a nice camera there from Cypher. It catches out Gorilla, um, boosting down long. And Omen is going to be TPing to the back. Does not find anyone, so, so he will be canceling his ultimate. Mm -hmm. The attacking side just playing it slow right now, playing for picks, seeing if any of the defensive side is going to overextend or push out, leading for a free kill, being up 5-4. Yep, they're playing a lot for him now. Wait for Util to come out. iPod Tint gonna find Jimmy Salts and TB4. iPod Tint on a rampage here. So we're gonna see oh. both teams starting to rotate onto the oh, yeah. A site. Yep. He's gonna get his heal up. The team's already pushing now. Gorilla gonna find Cold Cabbage. Arn Randomus now getting smoked off in heaven. Shadow Fire Ninja in the uh, in lab. Coming from CT. Roomba gonna come out, not gonna find the kill though. Maybe we'll have to push soon. The spike is planted. And Shadowfire Ninja gonna find Gorilla. It's all up to. Oh, that's actually that's the first kill, sorry. I'm so blind. These new um, these new death animations uh, with keeping the X over person's name. A lot of the new ones. Deep gonna find Shadowfire Ninja. And iPod Tick gonna find Randomness. Three and two. Fuego feeling some nice momentum. They've won the last three rounds. Yeah, so this is what we really need to see. The, especially Omen right now on the attacking side. Being able to take those picks off showers. That's that's what hurt, is hurting the defensive side right now. Dying to the lurker. Causing a rotation where they're pretty much led to their death at this point. So we're going to see a very slow start once again, which is very effective. I, I don't think I've seen the attacking side fully rush a site, yep. just bomb rushing it in. But WG. honestly, I feel like rushing works better. Like It doesn't work in the site as much as it does other sites, especially with the Sage Wall. <laughs> so having that Sage Wall automatically just blocks off a, a rush down showers or down a short. And that leaves B, which is a lot harder to take. Gorilla gonna find TB4 though with the ultimate. Gonna set up the Util down towards CT. It will not find one. Jimmy Salt gonna find Gorilla. Diep gonna get Shadowfire Ninja with the op. And they have full control of sight now. Raise DM gonna find Jimmy Salt as well. And Good use of Uto coming from the attacking side. Yep. Especially Gorilla getting the nade kill at first, then with the ulti kill. Cold and pretty much doing here. some damage with the bot as well. Gonna have to peek out. He finds a gun. Oh, the cool catch hit raised the end. iPod Tick gonna get the crossfire though. Gonna find him. And that's fourth round in a row for Fuego. So clean crossfires right now coming from the defensive side. Once they grab sight, they're they're being they're really good at just holding it and not letting them easily retake them. And even though if the defensive side is getting a kill, they're most likely not gonna get any further than one kill because they're instantly traded back. Uh, look at so this. on the attacking so, side, we're gonna see the slow start. Again. TBJR has four ultimates up now. They have the Reina, the Res, the Phoenix ultimate, and the Cypher ultimate. Mm -hmm. So 
I think they want to use their ultimates here. They want to get back some momentum. Because yeah. Frego feeling really good right now on four rounds in a row. But yeah, Frego he... has a lot of ultimates themselves on, with the Viper ulti. And it's Tony Miller on his ultimate. And he's going to die instantly to Gorilla there. Chilling in Zuka. He is now Flash, not knowing what he's going to do. Raise the M trying to pick this. Shadows traveling. It's kind of weird to say this because Raise the M, I, I just want to say Raise, right? But then you think it's Raise, you don't think it's Gorilla who's playing Raise. Mm -hmm. So you gotta say the full thing Raise the M. And we are going to be seeing the rotate off of B. Team Fuego is going to be rotating towards A. Cold Cabbage now, the only one on A. A Sage all by her lonesome. What can she do? This is what I'm talking about on the defensive side, taking way too long to go back, claiming their sight, and they're, they're just, their comms right now aren't as effective. Yep. And way, here, once again, we're going to see that over-rotation over coming on the defensive side, which has been costing them many rounds. Yep, they rotated. I mean, I wouldn't say they rotated too early. I think they rotated too many people. I think three should have been enough. Yeah. Then as soon as they saw the commit, uh, jumping through hookah window, then they should have brought over a fourth. Yeah, but once it got quiet, they should have known yep. just to put one more back on A. Yep. Once it got quiet, you typically send one back. Raise the M gonna find randomness. And, and that is it. Round five. So that five round in a row, as you can see, the momentum is like a snowball rolling down a hill right now, getting bigger every single time. And as you can see, the Econ coming from the defensive team is stacking up, so you're going to reach max. While the other team on the defensive side is just buying buying SMGs, buying light armor. And this is actually hurting them a lot, because they won't be having an AR this round or the next round at this, at this rate. Even with the max bonus. So Gorilla spotting out that cam. But not, yep. unable to take it out. So that's the thing about Cypher is, when you play them, you gotta switch up what you're doing. You can't keep playing the same things. Maybe you switch, like, switch your locations. Because Gorilla knew exactly where that was from the previous round. He was flying out. Yeah. So, so every gotta, good Cypher uh, player would, would no know spots. how to play both sites, different cameras, different tripwires. Because... You can't place those triple at the exact same spots because they're gonna be instantly broken. Yep, they're gonna they're gonna be ready for it. Shadows mm -hmm. So once again, you're gonna see on the mini map just A being completely open for the other thing to grab. So they are gonna be rotating over. And now Omen is gonna be rotating over as well. Yep, the Souls team is finally realizing it. They're gonna be going rotating over quickly. Grandma gonna bring up the wall though. This is a pretty standard I know plan exactly where with you the sage are. wall. iPod tint once again in showers. Let's see what havoc you can wreck. And yep, with the operator watching the flank, iPod tint gonna find Shadowfire Ninja. Also gonna find Leak Four, and he's also gonna find Iron Randomness 4K in that round. So iPod tint right now being very effective on the lurking role as. He's been getting a lot of picks. As you can see, look, as he had 15 kills. I'm pretty sure most of the rounds, he's the one that's entry fragging for the team right now, or having the most first kills. So the defensive side is going to have to switch something up because losing six rounds in a row is very damaging for the even for the mental state. Because right now in their head, they got to switch up something. Shadows traveling. So as you can see in the mini map, once again, there's just gonna be Omen. Oh, and Gorilla gonna find one with his ultimate off of boosting over, but Jimmy Sal's gonna get him in return. They trade kills one for one, just 10 seconds into the round. 20 seconds into the round. So, once again, with just one kill, the Cypher from B is already rotating A, leaving just Omen stuck CT. Yep, oh, look at them. this. Four members in Garden. That's already site given up that easily. They rotated way too early. They, 
they spawned one they wanted to rotate but that was way too much they, they committed too hard to rotating and now they have to rotate back and so even TGR, though they rotated back the positioning is like very bad because as you can see the other, they're just playing at, at wow. spawn right now labs yep. um, ipod took a find league tb jimmy sells gonna find raise dm and dm gonna pop the ultimate on site post plant not sure what the enemy team's gonna do here. They do have the Cypher Cam, have the ultimate, have the ultimate and the Reyna. Cypher goes down, Open goes down, and Jimmy Saltz is gonna find Grandma. It's all up to Jimmy Saltz now. Okay, good. He gets the Viper. That's gonna be the ultimate going down. There are one member is one member left, and iPod Tin gets the last kill. That is it. Walmart so we fight. From, yeah, we can see from iPod tint that his crosshair placement is very accurate and with all these headshots at one time it gives them no chance to react from the attack uh, the, defensive side. Is that the default crosshair too? Uh no that's not the default crosshair it's just a, a little bit of the oh, mismatch. The default but... crosshair is the green one with the movement one yeah. Mm -hmm, with the movement fix and stuff. So iPod tint actually carrying the attacking side being 18 and 2. So once again, they're going to play very, very slow, trying to waste out all the utils. Yep, the attack is just is. waiting for iPod Tate to just get a pick at this point. Gorilla Definitely running in now. They do light up one. They are going to find Cold Cabbage. RM is going to find iPod Tate and League TV4 going to find Grandma. But Gorilla is going to find League TV4 in return. Three for three. Gorilla is under half HP. They do have control of sight now. Are looking to plant default U-Haul spot, and Jimmy Salt's gonna be the last one to rotate over from spawn. Aaron Randmus to find Gorilla. Can he find two? He finds three, and one more. Raise DM against Aaron Randmus, and that's all up to him. Can Raise DM defend the spike, possibly with his life? He bets one. Can he get the second? Can he, the second? he sees the second one. They are having a little bit of a skirmish here. One versus one, playing time. No with, he does have the ultimate, but Shadowfire Ninja is going to walk into him, and that is it! Yeah, bomb has been taking, so I think, I think, I think he might have won that. It. Yep, he did it! Oh my god! He actually did it! 0 0.048 seconds left that, on the spike. Sorry. That ulti <laughs> just... Save them the round, honestly, because that by there was some hesitation second, by, there. By half a second. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate, dude. So once again, the momentum still hasn't been broken yet, leading the the attacking side to pretty much regroup and realize what they did wrong that round. Because once again, the uh, defensive side was on a pistol by that round. They were. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, we saw some of the sheriffs. Oh yeah, they're light, light, light buying. That was light buy, but they are still with pistols, which can hurt I mean, the econ. That's pretty successful for for eco round, I'd say. Joke's over. So light buy You're round. Dead. So we're gonna start seeing the defensive side being a little bit more aggro. Yep. TB4 with the clean flick right there, though. Gonna flick straight up onto Gorilla's head. Cold cabbage is gonna find two in a short, and this is looking good right now for TPJR. The last two members are in short. Grandma gonna find TB4. And now it's 2 for 4. Oh my god, the on behind them. I believe not the castle off of it. So both omens pretty much use their ulti just to have vision. And cancelled it right away. Grandma gonna be getting uh, resurrected. Full couch as well, they're gonna resurrect. Gorilla! He just got resurrected. He's dead once again. I believe that was through the smoke as well. I had one more different. to the death book right there for Gorilla. Oh, it's Shadowfire Ninja trying to defend this. Does go down. Sage, the one last standing. She does have a heal. The rest of TPJR are rotating over. Plant goes down. And she's going to be trying to hide in Elbow. Little does she know. No one's watching. Elbow, they've all rushed onto site. 
But currently the bomb is planted for elbow and everyone's yep. been scattered. It's gonna be hard for them to defend I'm gonna find one in five seconds. He will not find the second. She's gonna go out as well. That play might have worked if there's more than just him defending the site since he was just sticking the bomb because they knew where he was. And that is the first round they've won in eight rounds, dude. Let's see if they keep it up. Okay, eight and four wouldn't be terrible to go into the second half. It's mm -hmm. still doable. Especially so if they're buying. a better attack side team. Yeah. And they're stronger on attack. It's not terrible for them. Mm -hmm. Eight and four. Oh. So Bind, it's, I gotta say, is like one of the most balanced maps out there. Really? How so? Hmm. It's, it's just both teams are able to rotate very quickly through, through, through both sites. And pretty much there's no extra sites like Haven or there's no huge mid for split. Gorilla, what was it? Like eight deagles? Yeah. Gorilla's just having fun at this point. But he shouldn't be very just chilling right now it's only a3 this game could so be winnable for the defensive side so tbjr has to has to defend the site gain that the fourth round to maybe have a chance on the attacking side yep they did use a little bit of utility towards lab and that did cause tb4 to rotate over The teams are playing a lot slower. There's only 44 seconds on the clock now. Fire Gorilla gonna pop his ultimate. Let's see who we can find. He's just chilling in lab, walking in. Not gonna find anyone's ultimate. Little does he know there are two members rotating from spawn. Mm -hmm. Spike should go down very soon. Yep, it is now down. Planet for long and down. elbow. Shadowfire Ninja here in elbow. T4 and Omen by CT. Finally, Cold Cabbage rotating over and Jimmy Salts on the flank. It's so the, ball the last been, round. Yeah, the bomb has been taking for quite a while too, so they have, they must go on the site right now. Three frags are gonna come out. A fourth frag gonna come out, and now it's all up to Shadowfire Ninja. What can he do? He has to get the defusal. He's the king. Top the plant, the top the defusal, and Grandma's on his left. He doesn't even know where they are. You will not. Kill yeah, so the defensive side must work together on the attacking side now because their defensive plays have been very sloppy, but Maybe they're just an attacking team. We haven't seen this team play before in this tournament So this is their chance to prove us all wrong and work together with those trades and everything and winning And just getting the kills opening up site for them to plant so once again, the two top fraggers are iPod Tint and Jimmy Salt. And we're going to see a lot of deaths coming from the from the defense or the attacking side right now since they weren't able to hold site very effectively. Yep, deep going to have the standard wall blocking off showers and mid. And Gorilla pushing out mid. Healing. And he is not gonna find anyone. He's instead gonna die. Playing but way that, too aggressive there. But at least he got some info for the team because he could, could start seeing the rotation from D up coming through T spot uh C T spawn. And no, the, actually D up's being told to rotate back because they're not sure yet. But that's actually a very smart play since Grandma they should only saw one Grandma's on the way towards B for the heals, but they're, they're not 100% sure it's B yet, or confident. So they're going to start using these util to slow them down, and we're going to start seeing Dia push through mid, and the Sage pushing through behind, or CT. Yep. But iPod team is going to be unaware of... Alright, we're going to Jimmy Salt's going to fight Grandma. Going to get some of the nice overheal as well. Dia is on the flank. Spike is down. They're hopefully going to get the play. Yep. And Diap coming through mid to Hookah. We'll see how many kills we can get. So that push elbow was actually the play because it caught it caught both of them off guard. He finds one actually. Can he clutch up? He sees the, he sees the omen. Landing some of the shots. He does find omen. 
I'm not sure what Aria Randomness was doing there. Did not see any bullets hit him. He was 24 HP. One foot to the toe probably would have killed him as well. <laughs> Let me see it again. Well, this is going to be a very hard comeback for the attacking side now. When, since they just, the defensive that just won pistol round, allowing them to have the better econ and a potential force buy, we're going to see. There you go, we're gonna see the force by with some stingers, judge. So the defensive side's gonna have mainly SMGs while once again the attacking side kinda of stuck with all the pistols and armor. Yep. The force by is very, very small here because they know they're only three rounds off of victory. And so they can just stand up and up Gorilla gonna try to launch out Hookah once again, these super aggressive plays. He will get one, but he's gonna die in return. So I don't know if that's the smartest play because now the attack the attacking side is gonna have a judge to work with and they got yep. to trade it right away. Yep. Considering he had a shotgun, I feel like he should have just held hookah. Mm hmm and But into the hookah, it's chilling on we one can side. see that the Yeah, we can see the attacking side still mainly full HP. You're gonna be seeing a lot of people getting spotted, and therefore grandma is gonna rotate over. Raise the I'm gonna find one. There is one more in garden. So once again, we're going to see the ADSing. A lot of ADSing coming from the attacking team right now. I don't know if you noticed. Yep, I mean, I, I, I think the both teams have been ADSing a lot. I thought taking my cold cabbage. Our grandma is going to get the trade. And now it's grandma. Okay, so right now it's actually a Spectre we versus the pistol. Spectre wins. And Diap going to find League TB4. Defenders hmm. have won. That's round 11. Well, since the defenders didn't get a flawless round, that kind of hurt the econ a little bit. Because if you're looking right now, they're buying some phantom stingers. They, they only have two ARs and the rest are SMGs. So if they do lose this round, two of them won't be bu won't be able to buy, leading them to probably save for another round. So the attacking side having full SMGs. Gorilla once again pushing but not being able to get any kills. Yep, so once again, pushing out. So aggressive, not worth it for him. And the team is going to be rotating towards A this time, off of B. As you can see, Diep was rotating towards B, but now there is no one. He's going to be rotating back towards A. Shots coming out, the wall is also going to come out, which is going to lead to an early rotate now. So members are going to start rotating from the B side to yep. A, hoping Both their teams, teams are now defend. fully on A. This is it. There's 55 seconds. Yep, going to find TV4. Grandma going to find Shadowfire Ninja. And now it's a 3 versus 4. Four, not looking too hot if we tackle this TPJR. Yeah. Well, it's Honestly, not over yet because I think they should it. rotate back to B. Yeah, but look at the time. The time's cutting very short. Like if they push now, they gotta go because yep. Pretty much everyone on the defensive side's on site right now. As you can see, the spikes getting planted. Oh, and right the spike now. is down. Cold Tower with a nice wall. Jimmy Salt's gonna find gr Grandma. Can they even can they keep winning these gunfights? It is now even. For you. So we're gonna see some picks that are happening, but yep. Right Raise I'm gonna find cold cabbage there. And the fusel is gonna try to go down. I pot is gonna get at least half. It's gonna get taken out by RN randomness. And this is it. Alright, randomness finds Raise DM. And that is it. Game is every round is one. TPJR take their fourth round. Mm -hmm. So this is looking kind of sloppy on the that round, especially was kind of sloppy on the defensive side since they had that site under control, but they just gave up that U-haul position, allowing them to get a quick bomb plant. Because as you can see, the time was ticking down. If they played. If they just add some pressure, they could have won just off the 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 time. Cover going out.
Yep. A B S here this time. Pushing slowly through mid. And this time Gorilla actually didn't play as aggressive. Chill playing in the smoke now. Does find one. Does find the second one. Can he find the third? And he does find the third! You got mean out can't have the ultimate. Will not find him as there. Yeah, I think that ulti was pretty close because I think it was aiming at the general direction and that was pretty close to being on it. Let's see that again. Jimmy, like, Gorilla there with nice 3 k I think that's the first I've seen his pushing actually worked for more than <laughs> first one kill. First worked, yep. Yeah. yeah. So, as you can see, like, the look how pushed up the defensive side is right now. Yeah, they're playing offside completely with four stuff. Raise yeah. DM on a hunt, gonna go through spawn probably. Both teams are probably here. really confused where players are at right now. <laughs> oh, and the one spot they don't have any players is where Fuego will be attacking. Sorry, um, CP Jera will be attacking. So I see some flashes and smoke. Yep. Opening up the site. Bomb must go down. There's only yep. 10 seconds, seconds left, left on the clock. <laughs> yep. Spike goes down. Rayman pops her ultimate. Alright, Rayman also pops the ultimate. Gonna go into heaven. And now it's all up to him to defend the spike. What can he do? Is plan at default boxes. The fuse is gonna go down. DF is halfway through. Um, that teleport did not work very well. Yeah. He's just gonna there teleport you know. himself into his death. He should have just saved. Unfortunate round there. Yeah, Four the to second, twelve Fuego or a magic second point. The second TP didn't work out, leading him to actually lose the AR. Yep, Fuego or a magic point now. So once again, we, these games have been very one-sided with many teams. I think the closest match we've got so far was a 12-5 lead. To, I think it was the Simp Hunters. Shadows traveling. Yep, actually, I think it was a. I think we were out. The closest match so far has been a 13 and 7. We haven't had any games going to overtime. Seven. Yep, no games have gone to overtime just yet. Although I do expect the grand finals, the finals, or the semi finals, the grand finals to be a lot closer than this. Yeah. That's no frags coming out just yet. Teams, both teams playing it pretty slowly. 50 seconds now into the round. We are going to be seeing a hookah push. Once again, Gorilla, gorilla going, be going up. He's playing very aggressively. I'm going to fight Naka if I anyone actually. going to die to a ghost. And T4 going to jump out now. He's the first one to jump out. And iPod tent just in cubby right there. This is not looking good for the attacking side right now. Yep. They're down to three mem two members left versus three members on the fence. The positioning from the Sage right now is really She's... good because they're, they're pretty much trapping Hookah. Grandma, Grandma gave me a pick. Now it's all up to Cypher. We have a little bit of lag. He does find her though. And Ray's DM going to get a nice headshot from Lab. And that's going to be it. Fuego will be moving on to the semifinals.